Let's look at voltage. Now you've heard of voltage and in fact used it as part of your circuit analysis. It's a very useful concept for those situations. You may have even heard of people using the terms electric potential or potential difference in place of voltage. So how do all these terms relate? And how do they relate to electric potential energy? Given the similarity in names, it seems they should relate, right? Well, let's take a look and clear this all up. To try and minimize confusion on your formula sheet, know that voltage, aka electric potential or potential difference, is shown as a capital V. Or we can add a delta, so delta V is the change in voltage. And as you know, E with a subscript P equals electric potential energy, which is the same designation when referring to potential energy in our previous sections. So that's easy. But let's make sure we're not confused by the capital E by itself. Remember, that's the electric field strength. Always check for the P subscript to ensure you're looking at the right one. Let's consider the units. For electric potential energy, it's joules, just like any energy. While our new voltage is in volts, or joules per coulomb. Thus, if you're asked for electrical potential or potential difference, you should double check to ensure that it doesn't mention energy in that description. If there's no energy mentioned, you can feel confident that you're being asked about voltage and go from there. As far as calculations, we know that electric potential energy can be calculated as electrostatic force times the displacement. And this works great in uniform fields where the force is constant. Or when we're considering points of charge, that is the force varies, then we use electric potential energy as KQ1Q2 over R. Voltage, on the other hand, can be calculated using, well, delta V is the change in potential energy of an object divided by the charge of that same object, Q. Or if we plug this equation into our potential energy equation and canceling out a Q, we get voltage equals KQ over R. So basically, electric potential energy and voltage are both useful and quite similar. They both relate to electric fields, whether a uniform electric field or a field from a point charge. The difference is that electric potential energy depends on the charge of the object at the given position, where voltage does not. 